it isn't the dream scenario. I think the dream scenario is you bring the two new boys, Sabozlai and Alexis McAllister, and you keep Fabinho and Henderson. Agreed. And then ultimately, it's a smooth transition. The continuity is there, and the baton is handed on in a slower fashion. Mm. But there is also a world where you don't live your dream. You know, it, it doesn't go exactly as you want. So I would say that it's not exactly a nightmare scenario to to lose Fabinho, to lose Henderson, bring in Caicedo and start brand new, fresh midfield. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Jurgen Klopp is going to really have to instill some belief and principle and confidence and standards into it. But let's be totally frank here. They're three wicked footballers. Yeah. And therefore, it's not a bad scenario. I think I think in the dream world, at least one of Henderson and Fabinho stays. But it's yeah, not no, a no, nightmare. No, it's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's not a nightmare it's to a nightmare. go into a season with a midfielder, Fabinho, uh, Alexis you, you, McAllister. You know why? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare because of last season. It's not like this Liverpool team sort of pulled up any trees last season. It's it's a precious season, this one. I think you've said this as well. Part of the reason that you didn't have a good season, season was because you Klopp. didn't have enough youth and, and, and enough and we, energy and we've in the midfield. we've now got it. We don't want too much. I don't want too much. I've got the youth now. I've got it. We've got we've got Curtis Jones there, youth. Harvey Elliott's nah, youth. Yeah. Soboslai youth. McAllister youth. We've got the youth now. Now you need to sort of get that youth with experience. Again, we mentioned this the other day with me and you. We mentioned Real Madrid. And Kevin Hatchard said one good thing that Real Madrid are doing was giving a year contract to Modric and yeah, giving another Tony year Cruz. contract to Tony Cruz. Yeah. So those kids, Tuamaney, um, Jude Bellingham, yeah. and who's the other Camavinga. one? Camavinga. can all kind of settle in with that experience. That, that's true. And, and I do see the benefits of this, Addy. I'm, I'm with you to a degree. The reason why I'm pushing back a touch is because if your midfield going into the first day of the new season when you play Chelsea is Sabozlai, McAllister, Caicedo. Question mate, marks. No, it's, no, it's, it's, full, it's, full, really... of, it's full of but, question Andy, You can marks. be young. You can be a young person no, you and an experienced footballer. Mm. And Alexis McAllister's won the World Cup. Caicedo was one of the best midfielders in the league last season. And so Bosley's an international captain. Yeah. It's an experienced midfield. Yeah, no, it's an experienced, but it's inexperienced. It's yeah. inexperienced as well. So, yes, it's an experience, right? McAllister's played in the Premier League. Moises Caicedo was fantastic for Brighton. But in terms of that three coming together... Mate, the season starts in four weeks. That three all of a sudden gelling immediately. And remember the start Liverpool had at the beginning of last season? Horrendous. Remember the start was mm. horrendous. You need to start immediately. You need to go bang. Because mm. if you don't go bang, yeah. Man City are 20 points clear already. Do you know, you go do you know, do you know what? I'm afraid th- th- a lot of our listeners are, are not going to support clubs that have anywhere near... The, the depth. Th- yeah, like you... You moaning about a midfield of Caicedo, McAllister, a potential midfield of Caicedo, Sabozlai and McAllister. You having the audacity to sit here and moan about that midfield. When no, it, no, no. Look, look I, at what's going I, on at my I, club. I, I love you need to the get midfield. A we'll talk about your club in a minute, actually. I love the midfield. I love all those players. But in my head, remember when me and you spoke, it's funny, we spoke on, on your YouTube channel, actually, and we were talking about Liverpool. And I was like, I, I was literally rubbing my hands together with glee. I can't wait for it to start. And I actually said, Fabinho will start the first game of the season. I said he'll probably start Jordan Henderson as well, if you remember. And I said he'll integrate eventually, slowly but surely, McAllister and Saboslai. Klopp doesn't like all new players starting at one go. He's never really done that. It's it's slow integration. Mm. Now you're basically saying he's going to be forced to go bang. And I think that's a mistake. It's too young in midfield. Just been told as well, by the way. (laughs) This is actually crazy. So um, Thiago Alcantara, who's the other one as well in terms of age? And McAllister will be the only players... Born in the 20th century, right? It's mm. crazy. 